Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat. The pattern is subtle but still unique. It mainly uses front post, back post double crochets. So if you know those stitches, you're good to go. If you don't, no worries. I'll show you how to do those in this video. So I'll be using this yarn for demonstration. As you can see, it's 100% acrylic. So this yarn calls for a 4 to 5 mm crochet hook. And since it's pretty thin, I'm going to be using a 4 mm crochet hook. We're going to start from the brim part. So we're going to make a slip knot. And make a chain. I've chain 84 and it's about 54 55 centimeters when it's stretched. As I mentioned earlier, this is the brim part, so you want to put this chain around your head and make sure it fits. Then you're going to connect it back to the first chain. Make sure it's not twisting. Double checking. Okay, now make the slip stitch. So in the same stitch, we're going to make the first double crochet. Chain two. And then yarn over, make a double crochet in this stitch. I'm going to mark the stitch. Then we can start the pattern, which is 12 double crochets, then increase, increase. So that means we're going to first put one double crochet in the next 12 stitches. I'm going to insert my hook in this one loop here. Make a double crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet. Next, one double. So go ahead and finish the rest 9 double crochets. Ignore the first stitch. I have 12 double crochets here. Next, we're going to do an increase. So that means in the next stitch, we're going to work 2 double crochets in it. In the next stitch, increase again, so two double crochets. And then we're going to repeat this pattern, 12 double crochets, and then increase twice. So that means from the next stitch you're going to work one double crochet in the next 12 stitches and then in the very next stitch do two double crochets in the next two double again and then just keep repeating that. So I'm close to the end and I've just finished my 12 double crochets. 
in the next stitch, which should be the last stitch, I'm going to make an increase. So I'll work two double crochets in that stitch. Now we've come back to the first stitch. In the first stitch, work one more double crochet. And then slip stitch in the first stitch, which is the marked stitch. Now we have our two increases, two double crochets in one stitch, another two in the next stitch. And then it's our pattern all over again. For the next row, we're going to do front post, back post, double crochets. This is the post of a stitch. For front post, we insert the hook like this. For back post, insert like this. So I'm going to chain two. In the marked stitch, work a back post double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook from the back around the post, pull up a loop, then do a double crochet. In the next stitch, make a front post double crochet. Yarn over. Insert my hook around the post, then do a double crochet. Next, a back post. Next, a front post. This is all we're going to do for this round. Alternate between a front post and the back post. This is our last stitch. We should be working a front post in that stitch. But this time, I'm going to include this chain 2 as well. Then I'm going to slip stitch in the first back post double crochet that we made. Next round, chain 2. In the first stitch, which is a back post double crochet, work a back post double crochet. In the next front post, work a front post. In the back post, work a back post. So keep doing this and work 14 double crochets in total. From this row, when we start the pattern, we're going to include the first stitch. So we're going to do 14 double crochets first, and then do an increase in the next stitch. So the next stitch should be a back post. We're going to work that back post in the next stitch, which is also a back post stitch. Then in the same stitch, 
We're going to do a front post as well. So we're still alternating between a back post and a front post. So that's the first increase. In the next stitch, do one more increase. First, do a back post. Then the front post. That's two stitches in one stitch and two in the next stitch again. So that's the pattern. From the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet in the next 14 stitches. Work a back post double crochet in the back post stitch and a front post double crochet in the front post stitch. So do that for the next 14 stitches. And then in the next stitch, make an increase by working a back post and a front post. Next stitch, back post, front post. And then repeat the pattern again. So now go ahead and finish this row. So I'm close to the end. I have just finished 14 stitches. Now I should have two stitches left. Then I can make an increase here and here. So in the next stitch, I'm going to do a back post, then a front post, In the last stitch, I should do a back post and a front post as well, but I'm going to include this chain too, so I can hide it in the stitch. So I'm going to do a back post, then in the same stitch, a front post. Then slip stitch in the first stitch, which is marked. The next round is very easy. We're going to chain two. Work a back post in the first stitch. Mark the stitch. And then just do a front post in the front post stitch and a back post in the back post stitch. So that's all we're going to do for the entire round, no increase. So go ahead and finish this round. I'm always going to include the chain 2 in the last stitch. And then slip stitch in the first stitch. Chain two. So for this round, the pattern's gonna be one double crochet in the first 16 stitches. That includes the first stitch. When I say 16 double crochets, I mean 16 front post and back post double crochets. And then you're going to do an increase in the next stitch. Um, so that means a back post and a front post in this stitch. An increase in the next stitch as well, a back post and a front post. And then you're going to repeat the pattern again work 16 front post, back post, double crochets. And then in the very next stitch, do an increase and increase in next stitch as well. So that is the pattern for round five. Finish this round just like before. Work a back post and a front post double crochet in the last two stitches, so four stitches in total. Don't forget to hide the chain two in the last back post and the front post stitch.
and then slip stitch in the first back post stitch. Round six, chain two. Again, no increase in this row, just alternate between a back post and a front post. You probably already guessed the pattern for the next round, which is one double crochet in the first 18 stitches. And then in the next stitch, an increase that is a back post and a front post. In the next stitch, a back post and a front post again, and then repeat. So that's round seven. For round eight, nine, ten, we're not going to do any increase. So for those three rounds, you're just going to work a front post double crochet in the front post stitch and a back post double crochet in the back post stitch. So let's go ahead and finish those rounds and then I'll show you how to decrease. So I have just finished round 10. From round 11, we're going to start decreasing. For this round, we're going to decrease after every 19 stitches. So you're going to first make 19 back post, front post double crochets. After your first 19 stitches, the next stitch should be a front post. In the next three stitches, we're going to make a two stitches decrease by working these three together. So in the first front post, I'm going to work a unfinished front post double crochet. That means I'm just going to yarn over and pull through two once. And then skip the back post. In the next front post, work a unfinished double crochet as well. So yarn over, front post, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. With three loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through all. So we have turned three stitches into one stitch, and therefore decreased two stitches. And then we're going to do that again. From the next stitch, work one double crochet in the next 19 stitches, and then make a two stitches decrease in the next three stitches again. So repeat that and finish round 11. And for round 12, we're not going to make any increase or decrease, just one stitch in every stitch. If it's a front post, then work a front post. If it's a back post, then work a back post. Slip stitch in the first back post double crochet. Round 13, chain 2. For this round, we're going to first work 17 back post front post double crochets. And then in the next three stitches, make a decrease again, just like we did in round 11. And the next round, 14, we're not going to do any increase or decrease, just one stitch in every stitch alternate between a back post and a front post. Round 15, work one double crochet in the next 15 stitches, and then a decrease. Round 16, again, no increase or decrease. So as you can see, we're just following a very simple pattern. Hopefully my explanation is clear. So go ahead and finish round 28, and I'll see you back here. 
I have finished round 28, round 29, chain 2. Make a decrease in the first two front posts. In the next two front posts, decrease again. Next two front posts, decrease. Continue doing that. I did that six times in total. Then you can slip stitch in the first stitch, which is a double crochet two together. Then I'm gonna chain one, leave a long tail and fasten off. Use a yarn needle from the wrong side. Sew these stitches together to close off the top. The last step is to work the broom. Attach your yarn here. Remember in round one, we have two increases after every 12 stitches. You can see them right here. Or an easier way is to look at the pattern. We have a continuous line here. And the stitch next to it also has a line and the two of them join here so that's an increase that's the second one whenever we see them we're gonna make a decrease in these two these prominent ones So we have two here. Our first stitch is going to be a decrease like that. Then work one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. If it's a back post, then work a back post in it. If it's a front post, then work a front post. Number 13 should be a back post double crochet. Then work one stitch in the next three stitches, just like before, double crochet two together. Skip the middle one. Then repeat that pattern one double crochet in the next 13 stitches, followed by a decrease. The last stitch for this round should be number 13, a back post double crochet. 
and then slip stitch in the first stitch, which is a double crochet two together. For the next eight rounds, do one double crochet in each stitch, no decrease. If it's a front post, then work a front post. If it's a back post, then work a back post. Again, include the chain two in the last stitch, which is a back post double crochet. Then slip stitch in the first front post double crochet. Chain two again, start the next row. So that is it for this hat. You can leave the top like this. It looks perfect on its own, no problem. But if you want, you can make a pompon and attach it to the top as well. I won't be showing you how to make or attach a pompon in this video, but um, I've linked some good ones in the description box. You can check that out if you need. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.